Hi everybody, I'm Larry Kluger, a member of the DocuSign Dev Center team. You may have heard about DocuSign for use in sending out documents to be legally signed with electronic signatures, but did you know that over 60% of DocuSign's electronic signature requests are initiated by applications via the DocuSign API? So that's a lot of opportunities for developers. In this short video, I'll show you how to send out a request for signature with payment from your C-Sharp.net core solution. C-Sharp is the most popular language used by our customer and partner developers when they build apps and services with the DocuSign API. Let's start with the signer's experience. Here we're looking at Sue Cardella's mobile email app. She's being asked to fill out an order form. In addition to legally signing the order form, she'll pay for the order with her credit card all in one transaction. Sue is using her standard mobile browser. She has not installed any additional apps onto her phone. Sue first agrees to the electronic record and signature consent disclosure, and next the order form is shown. Sue can adjust the quantities in the order form, and the form's prices are updated automatically. Sue signs by using the mobile as a signature pad. Next, Sue is shown a credit card invoice and she enters her credit card details to pay it. That's it. Sue has paid for her order and legally signed the order's fine print as well. Back to Sue's email app now. She also receives an email confirmation of her credit card invoice and payment. Now let's see how this transaction was created from a .NET Core solution. Let's start at the beginning with the DocuSign Dev Center. It enables you to sign up for a free developer sandbox account and create an integration key. Check out our developer blog where I'll post about this solution and provide download details. For this use case, I've created a DocuSign template using the DocuSign web tool, which we see now. Note the template's GUID will later use that in the c -sharp code. We'll also be using the role names in the code. Here's the template's tagging page where we can manage the DocuSign fields in the template, including the payment fields. By using the DocuSign web tool, I can easily add and update many aspects of the order form by using the tool's WYSIWYG interface. What you see is what you get. Depending on their skills, your business clients can adjust the template too. Next, we'll open the solution in Visual Studio. This example solution is a system integration for DocuSign, so it's designed to send out transactions, which we call envelopes, autonomously. The DocuSign API can also be used to create interactive user applications, which can include an embedded DocuSign signing ceremony, including the payment request, if you wish. We'll configure this example via the solution's app.config file. As a Santa cooking shows, I'll use a config file that I prepared previously. We're configuring this solution to impersonate me and to send out a signing request to Sue Cardello. After Sue signs, a CC copy of the envelope and its signed documents will be sent to me. Also note the template ID field in the configuration settings. Let's build and run the solution. We can see that the envelope has been created and sent. Now let's look at the code for sending the envelope that we signed earlier on the mobile. You can see the key steps. Number one, checking that we have a good access token for the API and creating a new token if need be. Two, creating the envelope definition object. And three, finally, using the SDK to send the create envelope request to DocuSign. Let's look more at how the envelope definition is created. It's straightforward. We're creating two template role objects and populating them appropriately. You can see the role names that match those in the template itself. Check out the example to see all the details. As I said, I'll be posting its location and download details in our developer blog. That's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks very much.